People say that when you have a terminal illness, you feel less pain right before your death. And that's what started happening to me. I thought that I was about to die, and I wasn't afraid of it. I was just scared for my little girl. I needed to figure out how to save her. Like many mothers fleeing Ukraine into Poland, Yelena Buvana was in pain. So the first thing she did was seek medical aid when she and her 14-year-old daughter Anastasia finally made it to a nearby humanitarian center. She was barely walking and we started, you know, naturally asking, like everybody else, we asked, where are you from? What's your story? Where are you going? The story we got was that uh, this woman has a terminal breast cancer already 10 years and she got treated uh, only by surgeries. She didn't get any chemotherapy. It took 10 years to get her into this stage and her pain is such severe pain that uh, she says she usually uh, faints once or twice a day. Yelena was dying and she knew it. Before fleeing war-torn Ukraine, doctors had told her she only had weeks left to live. She had accepted her fate, but she was frantic for a very different reason. What we heard with the background story is that uh, she has a 14-year-old daughter uh, who's her only relative and they don't have anyone either in Ukraine or outside. And they ran from the bombings in some town next to Kiev and they basically don't know what, where to go. And her main concern is that she has weeks to months to live and she doesn't know who will take care of her daughter. Despite Yelena's dire physical situation, she decided to brave bombings and violence to see her daughter to save I came here because I didn't want my child to see death. In my city, there were constant alarms. It affects your nervous system. There's fear and panic. It was scary to see people being killed. We ran out of food at home. I had nothing to give to my daughter. And the neighbor that said she would take care of my daughter after I died said she wouldn't be able to afford it now because of the war. So that's what led me to leave Ukraine even though I'm dying. I wanted to protect my little girl. When we finally made it to the border, I felt really sick from my pain. I asked my daughter to leave me on the other side, to let me just lie down, because I could no longer move. But a young boy, a stranger, helped us get across. He even gave us 100 zlotys because we had no money. From the Medica border crossing between Ukraine and Poland, Yelena and her daughter were transported to a humanitarian aid center in the small Polish town of Chemesle, where she found her way into a medical clinic that had been constructed by Israeli medical volunteers. That's where Dr. Alex Gileles Hillel, a pediatrician from Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem, first heard her devastating story. We got her uh, pain medications and uh, uh, the nurses here gave her a patch and uh, also an injection. She slept the whole night uh, for the first time in months. We couldn't believe everyone's kindness. When my daughter saw all the food and the medicine they were giving to us for free, she cried from happiness. I'm 53 years old and I have never seen such kind people like the ones I have met here. After the initial shock, I called Hadas International and uh, told him the story and I said, listen, we have to help this woman somehow. It took just hours for Jorge Diner, the executive director of Hadassah International, to find a solution. After calling various Polish organizations, he finally made contact with the former first lady of Poland, who now runs a foundation to help relocate refugees from Ukraine. She decided that she would personally take care of Yelena's case. They were able to find a Ukrainian-speaking family in north of Poland uh, who agreed to take in both the mother and daughter. Um, we also contacted the local hospital oncological department who will admit her for assessment. Yesterday morning, a car came to pick up Yelena and Anastasia and transport them 600 miles away to a new life in northern Poland, where dreams maybe can come true. I want to be a judge or a policeman when I grow up, because then I can punish bad people when they do bad things. It's bad to have a war in Ukraine, but I feel better now that I'm here. I think I'll have a much better future here in Poland, that I'll be able to finish school and go to university. I get all of my strength from my mom. I will pray for the peace of the people who helped us for the rest of our lives. 
They gave a future to my daughter. I was afraid that she would be sent to an orphanage, but these doctors and volunteers have given me hope that my daughter has a future. There was a time when I dreamed of dying because of the pain, but now I don't hurt as much as before. I feel that I'm alive again.